my wonderful friends and welcome back to another video. Today I am at one of my favourite places to visit on a day off. It's the garden centre. This is the old barn garden centre and I just find them so relaxing, easy and accessible. In this video I am going to be talking about and sharing some tips and advice on going out for the first time in a wheelchair or with a mobility aid. Now if you've got any tips about going out for the first time, then drop them down below because we would love to see them and share them. So one of the first things that you may have already noticed is that there is plenty of accessible parking and this just takes off so much stress. Another thing that is so fabulous about this place is the access to get in. There's a ramp this side and there's a ramp also down that side as well. So we're just gonna glide on in. <laughs> Yes, love me a Sunday rose. However, I do find that if you are coming out for the first time ever, it may be best if you can to come out on a weekday and early in the morning when it's not so busy. So on the weekends here, it gets absolutely packed. John, have you noticed that whenever you come into a garden centre, there's always a garden centre smell? Yeah, it's <laughs> like, like a, a potpourri. Sort yeah, of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the distinctive garden yeah. centre smell. Come on, let's go. Look at these air plants. They look like jellyfish. They're weird, aren't they? See here, it's really, really nice. All the aisles in this place are all nice and wide and accessible and it's all flat and just really really nice and easy so you know if this is your first time out you may not be as strong as someone who's been in a wheelchair for a long time or you may be recovering from surgery or something so this is why I definitely recommend a place like this I've just spotted it it's October I can see they've got the Christmas stuff out already <laughs> hello fellas How's it going? Put in a good word for you, Sean. Coming to a garden centre might not be for everybody, but hopefully in this video you can pick up some tips and implement them to where you want to go. It's all nice and undercover, but it's really nice and bright and airy as well, which I think is quite nice. Didn't you? Jim, you found a friend. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Can we take him home, please? Can we take yeah. him home? He's sitting like at the end of the bed. Oh, freaky. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so oh my God, this could revolutionize Christmas for us. Fast cut and gift wrapping has never been easier. <laughs> sure, honestly, I could spend yeah, so much money. Here. <laughs> yeah, we need to go. You may notice that I've got Sean with me today. Um, obviously, he's filming. Um, but if you are coming out for the first time, you may want to actually bring someone with you um, who can sort of help you and be there as, like a, as a support network for you, really. Um, or if you are going out on your own, maybe you can have someone at home on standby to come and help you, you know, if you do get into trouble. Another thing I really like about coming here is that you've got the inside bit You've also got the outside bit as well, which is great because that way you can get your blues and greens um, and you can get around with the plants as well, which have proven to have a positive effect on people's mental well-being. It's perfect on such a beautiful day like this, isn't it? Yeah, so lovely. And even if it wasn't so lovely, it's actually covered as well, which is really nice. Here, this bit's covered. So even though, as I've said, this place is flat, there are very slight cambers and slopes, which obviously makes pushing a lot, lot harder. This is something to definitely take into account if it's one of your first times out, because you really are going to have to try and pace yourself. <gasps> Look, you can hear the birds. It's almost like being out in the woods when it's like this, isn't it? 
but it's really nice and accessible and easy, isn't it? Yeah. You've got yeah. all your facilities here. You've got your cafe, you've got your toilets, you've got your parking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I've been struggling. Uh, I've had my sunglasses all this time. Oh, right. here we go. Bring a pair of sunglasses with you. <laughs> and another thing that you um, be prepared on is to bring some water with you and if needed, any medication. And make sure you come out once your medication has kicked in to give you like the best kind of experience so you're not in pain. <laughs> it's a bit, bit too much of a whip. <laughs> she did get me. Oh, I think there was an aphid on that rose and went straight up the nostril. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Mm. It's like your sensory well-being as well. It's a very sensory experience, like the smells of the plants, the feel of the plants. Wear it as a wig. <laughs> a goatee. Ew. Look, bamboo. <gasps> take yourself to different countries. Yeah. You're in China now, Jen, with all the oh, bamboo. You can see the panda. Yeah. Now you're in Japan, Jim. Yeah. With the Japanese look at... maples. They're so Aces pretty. This is nice. It's nice. I think it really helps that it is a nice day as well. Could be another hack actually. Check ahead for the weather and come out when it's nice rather than when it's windy and rainy. I don't like to come out when it's windy and raining. It's a nice section. Oh! Oh! Watch out for that tree! tree. George, George, George of the jungle! Oh. Strong as he can be! Watch out for that tree! And Jen, that's a play area. Yeah. That's the play area. Yeah, there's a little... See, when Daisy was little, this is a place that I would come to with her on my own with her because, you know, obviously it's accessible. But they've got little playgrounds here and some of them, some of the garden centres we've got near us have got little pottery painting studios and indoor soft play. So it was a really, really good thing for her to come out and do sometimes. So we're at the back of the centre now. And it's so nice and easy to roll around and wide and open and you know you don't have to come this far but just getting out a little bit can really really help boost your mood and I think now it's time to go and check out the coffee shop because I'm thirsty! <laughs> So this particular garden centre has got a really, really nice cafe. It's all been refurbished recently. And look how lovely all the gardens and the plants are around it, which you'd think from a garden centre, it should be nice. It's really inviting, isn't it? Yeah. And they've got an outdoor seating bit as well. <laughs> oh, they're hiring, Sean. <laughs> Was. It's quite busy, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite popular here. You see. can bring your furry friends. I've bought mine. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see how really nice and accessible it is. I just glide straight in. Sean's gone inside to place our order for us our coffees um, but if you were coming on your own you can just go up to the till and ask someone and they're all so friendly here um, and they'll bring them over to your table and that's something that I think is a really important point to make is don't be shy to ask for help if you need it ask and nine times out of ten people are always friendly and willing to help here we come Kitties. Oh my really word, Sean. It's one hell of a scone, isn't it? That is. It's a whopper. It's a whopper. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So here 
is the Santa's Grotto. He's under construction at the moment, but this grotto is completely wheelchair accessible and it's so lovely. I will put up a little shot of it that I filmed last year so you can have a look. He's found the barbecues. This bad boy. Mm -hmm. The old polo bushwalk. <laughs> Clay pigeon shooting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very suave, Sean. Very suave. I think. Very um, Bogart. Going for a. You don't know a who swap. he is, do you? No. <laughs> jazz musician. And all that jazz. Steve Martin from Only Murders in the Building. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my old man, the dustman, me with his chimney sweep. Chimney sweep, yes. Right, I'm off to herd the sheep or catch a snake. You can tell that you're Australian. No one in the UK would say I'm off to catch a snake. People of the audience. Oh! You, leave your head on. <laughs> you think he might be playing up for the camera, but take it from me, he's not. This is Sean in his natural habitat. Yeah. Yeah, and that's Gem in her natural habitat destroying everything. <laughs> be quite fashionable. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really nice. They're really nice. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. That was a good day. Nice and easy. Went smoothly. Everyone was lovely. Nice and accessible. We're just going to go out down the ramp to the car, which is parked nice and close. Paul was telling me they put in an extra eight accessible parking spaces, which makes life even easier for us. We've got even more choice now. So I really hope that this video has been of use to you today. Make sure to drop your tips down below on going out for the first time in a wheelchair. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye. You go to the wrong car, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've done a bit of celeb spotting today. Katie Price was filming in here today as well. <laughs> All the celebs, they know how to live. It's the garden centres, you see. <laughs> she was probably saying the same thing about you. <gasps> Celebrity spotting. <gasps> that Wheels No Heels was in here. Heels was here. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't be 